Welcome friends, I am Chimmy, the Inquirer of Plot Suspector of Sequels, and more importantly, your host this evening. Tonight's movie is Bloodlust, which came out in 1961, starring Wilton Graff as the deranged hunter. <laughs> Four teens on a ship steered by a drunken captain who passed out. They see an island and take a boat. Looking for adventure, Johnny, Betty, Pete, and Janine go to a nearby island. But little do they know that their carefree excursion will become a fight for survival. After stumbling into one of many traps on the island, Johnny is rescued by the island's owner, Dr. Bellow. Yeah, but what do you do here? Found diversions. I've developed a kind of passion for hunting. A while after they are shown to their rooms, Sandra and her secret lover Dean plan once again to escape the island. Johnny, Betty, okay. Pete, and Janine decide to split up and snoop around, looking for clues in the macabre estate. Sandra and Dean oh, no, find Johnny and Betty and tell them their plan to escape. Meanwhile, Pete and Janine continue to look around, but what they find is more than what they bargained for. When they join the group, they are told about Dean and Sandra's plan to swim to the boat to get help. After two days of no response, they get suspicious. Johnny and Betty look around for answers and find Dr. Bellu admiring his trophies. He goes on to tell them that he was enlisted into the army as a sniper and how his innocent demeanor turned into a bloodlust. I adjusted my new activity. And what had been an unpleasant duty became a pleasure. Then it developed into a passion, and then into a lust, a lust for blood. They find out that Dean and Sandra didn't make it out alive. He then shows them a spot where he can hold four more trophies. He plans to keep Betty and Janine as companions and hunt Johnny and Pete and the drunken captain, Tony. Dr. Bellew tells them that he will allow himself only three arrows for his crossbow, and gave them an empty gun, and hid one bullet in the tree named the Tree of Death. Tony left with the only gun and bullet, so Johnny and Pete plan to split up and make their way back to the house to free Betty and Janine. Tony tries to shoot Dr. Bellew, but realizes that the firing pin has been removed. I have this work to do. You get back. <laughs> Meanwhile, Betty and Janine escape the room and end up in a different part of the house, but runs into one of the deranged staff. While hunting Johnny and Pete, the man has a henchman to track him down, but while doing so, falls into a sand pit and is left for dead. They meet up and are on the run from the deranged hunter. They plan to sneak back to the house and get a gun. They find the guns, but no ammunition. Seeing that the gun cabinet was forced, he realizes that the hunt is not yet over. He turns on the lights in his trophy room to find them. He knows that their guns are empty, so he has no fear. But he hears a sound and has Pete go to his chair to turn on the light, which reveals the henchman he left for dead has come back for revenge.
guess Malone never thought he'd be the prize exhibit in his own museum. Well, that's the last time I'll go on a boat. Why, thank you. I don't know about you, but I think I'll be spending my vacation at home.